Hi guys! Welcome to Derive and today we'll talk about work problems which is under algebra. Now, uh, with that said, mag-solve tayo ng mga problems regarding work problems. No? Okay? Now, we have here, Farmer A can plow a field in four days by using a tractor. Farmer B can plow the same field in six days using a carabao. How long will it take to plow a field if they work together? Now, I want you to have this understanding. When we deal with work problems, um, suppose that a person can do a certain work in four days. This means that the person um, can finish, let's say, one-fourth of the work in one day. So let's say um, this is your, this is the, the, the bar of the work, no? This is just what? My uh, comment section ko lang yan, no? Uh, before I start solving this one. So let's say uh, a person can do the job in four days, okay? So one, two, three, four. Meaning to say, for given one day, that person already covered one-fourth of the work, okay? So this is one-fourth of the work. Yan. And for a complete job, let's say... um. For a complete job, um, the multiply natin rate, the rate of that person's work multiplied by the time na tapos niya should be equal to 1. That is when, what? For a complete, uh, for a complete job, no? Now, with that said, um, when there is a specific work and a specific time and manpower, then the rate of doing work may be computed using the itawag nating man hours. Later on, the, the man hour na unit. Okay, so later on, um, we'll talk about this one. We'll apply this to the problem. Now, let's proceed with this. It says there that farmer A can plow a field in four days by using a tractor. And then farmer B can plow the same field in six days using a carabao. Um, how long will it take to plow a field um, if they work together? Now, I want you to have this understanding that um, let a variable x, let variable x be the time, be the time for, oh wait, be the time for the two farmers, okay, wait now. Time for two farmers okay, uh, to plow the field working together. To plow the field working together. So we will put it in this way. Since I told you earlier that it has only one-fourth of the work per day, then we can express it in this way, no? For farmer one, um, A can plow a field in four days. So we have here one over the rate of A, or or may I say, kung ilang days niya ba yan um, na i-cover, which is four, and then plus one over for farmer B in six days, okay? And uh, we need to equate that to 1 divided by x kasi this is their the result of them working together. Now, with that said, we need to solve for x here. So now, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 1 fourth plus 1 over 6 and then we have here 5 divided by 12 and that is equal to 1 over x. Okay? Now, when we reciprocate them, we'll get what? No? Um, x now is equal to 12 over 5. Or a 12 over 5 or uh, 2.4, no? We have here 2.4 hours. Ay, ano days pala, no? Days. So we have here 2.4 days for them to 
uh, finish flowing together. Okay, so that, that will be for our first problem. Um, next problem, let's have this one. A laborer can finish the job in four days. Then another laborer can finish the same job in six days. Ayan. If both laborers plus a third one, so hindi ang sinabi na there is this third laborer can finish the job in two days. Meaning to say, um, uh, two of them and then yung third one can finish the job in two days. Then how long will it take for the third laborer to finish the job alone? So all we have to do here is to simply add their uh, reciprocals, no, 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6. And then plus 1 over x, ito yung for the third laborer. And um, it is said in the problem that tatlo sila can finish the job in two days. So now we have here 1 over 2. Ayan. Okay, so now we'll have here 1 over x. Okay, and that is equal to 1 half minus the sum of 1 4 plus 1 over 6. So, we'll have here 1 over x is now equal to um, 1 half minus um, 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6. And then, um, we'll get there 1 over 12. Now, reciprocating both sides, we have x equal to um, 12, no, 12 uh, days. Okay, so that becomes our answer for this item. So, um, tandaan nyo, for this part, no, kasi sinasabi ko lagi reciprocate eh. But um, that is supposedly multiply both sides by the LCD, which is 12 x. Okay, so if you want the, um, yeah, no, multiply natin by 12 x. That's also what happened on the, the first problem. Okay, then next one is this. It says there that one pipe can fill a tank in six hours and another pipe can fill the same tank in three hours. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, no, one pipe uh, working alone or sabihin natin um, acts alone, kaya niya ng six hours. And then another pipe, kaya niya ng three hours. Then a drain pipe, so pag sabi niyo drain pipe, ibig sabihin papalabas yung tubig doon, no? Or papalabas yung um, sabihin natin fluid doon. And then a drain pipe can empty the tank in 24 hours. With all the pipes open, how long will it take to fill the tank? And um, when we have a simple illustration of this one, uh, parang ganito lang yan, no? Let's say you have here your tank. So now, meron kang dalawang pipes going in. Meron kang dalawang pipes na nag-contribute for the increase of the volume of this one. Um, the rate of this one is 6 hours, no? So let's say that's 1 over 6. And another one is 1 over 3. Okay? Tapos, there is this what? Drain pipe. There, there is this what? Um, pipe going out. I mean, may papalabas na, merong pipe na papalabas yung tubig. And it can empty the tank in 24 hours. Now, ang mga nilagay ko dyan are the rate of their work working alone no so ngayon ang mangyayari to how long will it take to fill in to fill the tank so now let's proceed we have 1 over 6 and then plus 1 third ngayon since this 1 over 24 since your drain pipe hindi siya nagko-contribute sa increase ng volume niyan but um papalabas naman siya you have to subtract that one subtract and then 1 over 24 Okay, and that will be equal to 1 divided by x. Ganun siya. So now the value of x becomes, ito, ayusin lang muna natin to. So we have 11 over 24 is equal to 1 divided by x. So maging 11x is equal to 24 or we have x as 24 divided by 11. And, um, Consequently, we have here, siguro para ma-appreciate natin yung gano'n ba katagal, we have 2.1182, no? We have 2.182 hours for that to fill in the tank na lahat sila open. Okay, so that will be our answer for this problem. 
So I hope that ano no um unti uh, unti we are uh, naintindihan natin yung concept on how to solve work problems. Now let's proceed with this one. Um, if Elizabeth's rate of doing work is to you, Mikas, as six is to eight, and Elizabeth does a piece of work in fifty days, how long will it take you, Mika, to do the work alone? Okay, so uh, pag pinag-usapan natin yung ratio, syempre, uh, we are still dealing with what? With a uh, fraction pa rin yung magiging itsura niyan. Okay? So let's say the Elizabeth Elizabeth's rate is X. And then this one, yung for you, Mikas, is Y. Okay, hindi na ako maglalagay ng mga let X, let Y. Um, from here, from um, 6 is to 8, we have 1 over X all over 1 over y, that is equal to 6 is to 8. Yung, ganun po siya, ano. And then after that, um, ayusin lang natin yung equation. Uh, tawag ko dito, no. Um, ang gawin natin dito is to make it a y over x equal to 6 over 8. And then we'll have here y is equal to 6 over 8 times x. Meaning to say, um, the the rate of Yumika's uh the way kubana siya magwork will be six over eight do, doon kay Elizabeth. Since it is said in the problem that uh Elizabeth does a piece of work in fifty days, ibig sabihin kung siya ay nagwork ng fifty days, um kukunin natin yung yung equation na yan, we'll have y as six over eight multiplied by fifty days, okay? So ngayon, uh, para naman kay Yumika, we have here 6 over 8 times 50. Okay, so lumalabas dito that we have here 37.5 days. No? Days ba yun? Oo, 37.5 uh, days. As uh, ito yung magiging kung, 50, uh, kung kayang gawin ni Elizabeth ang piece of work in 50 days, from that given ratio na 6 is to 8, for you, Mika, kaya niyang gawin ng 37.5 days. Okay? So with that said, um, tune in lang kayo sa aming, uh, sa aming mga videos. And thank you so much for listening. I hope that all of you learned today. Mag, mag-send pa kami ng mga more videos regarding work problems. But, but for now, ito na lang muna. Okay? So thank you so much and uh, see you sa mga susunod pa naming videos.